Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Today, I'm going to be starting a Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. For the GameCube. This is the GameCube version and not the HD remake. Uh, so first we gotta press start. This one right here is um, my save file from when I actually beat the game. Like, if you hear that, that's my cat. I'm not letting him in here because I don't want him to mess with the recording. We have to start a new game. I'm gonna choose start. I'm just gonna put in the standard uh, link. I did a test episode and it really bothered me saying my name a bunch of times. There we go. And now, welcome to the first island of the game, Outset Island. And here we can see the camera zooming in on... Cut that out because that's kind of a spoiler. Big Brother! 
Hmm. Huh. I wonder who she's talking about. Oh, it's Link, and he's sleeping. What a surprise. Big Brother. What a surprise. He did that in Ocarina of Time, too, huh? Interesting. Hmm. Where'd she go? I knew you'd be here. Hee <laughs> This is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Errol's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big Brother, it's your birthday! That's why Grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. Dot, dot, dot. It's a good thing I came to by to find you. You should probably go home t and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Uh, the animation stopped. Hurry up, big brother. Grandma's waiting for you back at the house, and I'm sure everyone on the else on the island wants to say hello to you too. Okay, well, I'll make sure to say hello to them. Oops. Uh, now this is actually running on a real Nintendo Wii instead of an emulator. Because, uh, the reason why I say that is because I played Luigi's Mansion on an emulator. Uh, now just a fair warning. This series will not be a 100% playthrough. It'll be a most percent playthrough. I'll try to do what I can, but there, but I cannot guarantee that I will get everything. Now the controls, eventually we'll get more controls, but basically the analog stick is to move uh, C stick to move the camera around, L button to center the camera, or lock on, we'll see that later. When it's in this um, camera center mode, you can press the C stick up to zoom in, like so. Press R and then you can move around to crouch. R to crouch. Uh, eventually we'll have another option that we can do. But A, when you're moving, you can roll into trees with it. There we go. Like that. Now, we can't do anything with grass yet, but with pigs, we can actually walk up to them, pick them up, with the A button. Oh, now this character is asking us to press the L button. Yes, okay, we're basically being taught how the uh, L targeting works. Basically, when you press L on things that has a red arrow above it, or yellow arrow above it, you'll lock on to it and then you can interact with it more directly. And when you're locked on, when you're locked on to something, like so, the arrow turns red. We gotta pick up these pigs and take them over here. because of something later on in the game. And plus we can get rupees for it. Now rupees are the currency in this game. Why, did you just bring that little piglet all the way over here just for me? Oh, thank you, thank you very much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they come, when they get back home. You sweet, oh Link, hold out your hand. This is your reward. And for that we get a red rupee, which is 20 rupees. Okay. Uh, we can actually get more pigs. I'm not really sure what that does. 
Okay, there we go, we got one. Now in here, as you can probably see, there's a yellow rupee in there. That's worth 10 if Link can get out of these trees. Now this is an optional side quest. I want more money, please. Okay, we got another 20 rupees. Now what I want to do first, before actually going into the house, is climb down here, zoom properly in, and then we can climb under this area. Now, I wanted to, um, I want, I originally wanted to do a Wind Waker, uh, let's play, and for this, opening this chest, we get an orange rupee, rupee, which is worth 100 rupees. I originally wanted to do a let's play of Wind Waker for, for Earth Day this year, which is April 22nd. Um, but I decided to um, just have it be done for um, March 3rd. I don't know if I'm going to get it out on March 3rd or not. I'm going to try for it. Yeah, try for it. Yeah, I'm not going to try to force it though. But yeah, okay. If you actually push the start button, you bring it'll bring up the um, pause menu. But around back, we've got some pots that we can break. But I decided to do it on March 3rd because of the Nintendo Switch um, and the Zelda Breath of the Wild launch. Instead of actually doing anything we should do, we should just... In this game, in Wind Waker, you can actually jump up on tables and push things off. Don't do it in real life, please, but have fun doing it in Wind Waker. Now this is what I, something that I think is neat. There's a, um, Link's grandma actually has a picture. If I can get up here. Link's grandma has a picture of Link and, uh, right by his sister right over there so I think that's pretty neat we actually have to go up here to talk to our grandma in this game I've been waiting for you Link Link try these on time certainly flies I can't believe that you're already old enough to wear these clothes you got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. We'll put them on anyway. Don't look so don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day that boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace, like the Jedi. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that's been carried down from those days. Does all this make sense to you? Reluctantly, yes. Isn't that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Why, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma's gonna make, going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm, I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister, Errol.
Okay, so let's go back out here. Oops, I hit the wall. But let's go back out here anyway. We okay. We now have to go back over here. And go get our sister. Now these rocks right here. If you can see, right here there's a blue rupee. Way over there, let me get that yellow rupee. Yeah, there, do you see it now? That yellow rupee right there. Um, that one we actually have to jump to. We have to go to these rocks and jump from one to another another to one and success we've got the rupee oops we but we actually have to go way over here jump back up here oops I missed that oh well Now we can talk to our sister. Ahoy, big brother. Did grandma make that outfit for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat though. So anyway, Link. Can you close your eyes and ha hold out your hand just for a second? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! You got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. Set it to Y, Z, or X, and use it by pressing whatever button you set it to. Do it now and see what you can see for free. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> oh, why don't you try it out? Right now, try looking at over at our house from here. Oh, okay. I, I guess I can. Um, huh. Hey, what's that, Link? Are you looking at the red post box? Yeah, yeah, that seems to be a, um, a ceiling. Where? Okay. I guess I can keep... Where is it? Okay. We can zoom in. Whoop. Oh, there's the postman. There's, yeah. What? Uh, oh. Do I need to zoom out and then zoom back in? Okay, there it works. Postman kind of look, looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's actually a bird. Whoa. But it doesn't look too friendly. Oh, it's a pirate ship, too. <sighs> Who's that, I wonder? Huh, looks like an important character. Hmm, Link, this is so terrible. That that girl just fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dang dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself. So, what she's saying is that it's dangerous to go alone and we need to take something. 
Just like every other Zelda game. Well, I mean, not every other one, but just like the original. Sort of, kind of, maybe, possibly. But, I think that's actually enough for one episode. So, um, I'll see you back here in a few more days for episode two. Um, goodbye for now. But wait. I kind of... I kind of did that intro out, or outro out of order. What I meant to say is, we need to first get something that we can destroy things with, and then get something that we can protect ourselves with, and then, um, yeah, then we'll go after whoever that was that landed up there. We don't know who that character is yet. So, um, goodbye for now.